Hi everyone, I'm June Jefferson and I want to talk about MCM. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's been a whole week since my last video, but dang, time flies. Today's video is going to be about me sharing my story about buying my pre-owned MCM bag. Uh, this isn't a how to per se, as in how to, step one, step two, step three, buy a luxury pre-owned bag. I feel like that's kind of been overdone. I just simply wanna share my experience, my story, and hopefully there'll be some good bits and pieces of knowledge that you guys can take away and learn from my story. So let's get to it. So the bag that I bought pre-owned, I got this last October and it wasn't a planned purchase. Usually when I go into buying a new bag, it's kind of premeditated, so to speak. I've always, I'm always keeping an eye on the market on what bags I like and want to add to my collection. This was one that I had seen a long time ago, but it's an older bag, so it's kind of hard to find. So when I actually came across it on Tradesy, I was pretty excited because, like I said, this was a, a bag that I've been looking for for quite some time. It is the Cognac Vesetos Dome Satchel. I really love the dome shape of this bag. Um, it's classic, and that's what I like. It's never ever going to go out of style, timeless style here. I also did see this bag at the same time on a website called pureatlanta.com. That is another website where you can get genuine MCM items. And they actually had the bag brand new, but they were selling it for $8.75. When I saw it on Tradesy, it was being advertised as being pre-owned in excellent condition, but with visible signs of wear. The ad had about five or six pictures I believe the pictures were of the outside of the bag, the sides, the bottom with the feet. It had a picture of the interior with that orange material. And in those pictures that they showed, I didn't see the visible signs of wear. All I could see, because they were very good photos, was the excellent condition. So I contacted the seller and it was actually a consignment shop uh, selling the bag. And I asked them for more pictures because the areas of the bag that will usually show wear are gonna be the corners of the bag, the zipper holes, and of course the handles. The glazing is usually gonna give up the signs of wear. And since there weren't any close-up photos of those areas of the bag, that was why I contacted the seller and asked them to send me pictures of those specific bag areas, which they happily obliged. Like the next day, I had the photos that I asked for. And the only true signs of wear that I can see, if the camera can, pick them up. If you see these really light, faint spots, those are watermarks, I believe, from someone carrying this in the rain because this part of the bag is actually leather, whereas this part is the coated canvas. The handles are also leather, and I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but they're... Yeah, I don't even think the camera can pick it up. There's really light, faint Spots here. Oh, you can see a little bit. And again, I believe that's from someone carrying this in the rain without realizing that those real leather parts of the bag would absorb the moisture and get water stained like that. I think there's a little bit on the sides here, the corners. Yeah, really, really faint. Again, you guys are just noticing it because I'm pointing it out to you. Whew. 
was Tradesy, the seller was selling this bag for $5.55, whereas the Pure Atlanta had the same exact bag, brand new, for $8.75. And seeing that those were the only parts of wear, I decided that with the money saved, I could live with those flaws on the bag. I'm perfectly happy with the bag. I'm really, really happy that I have it in my collection. And I'm happy that I got it at a good price in still really good condition. To me, that price difference, brand new versus pre-owned, was totally worth it. The inside of the bag, excellent condition. It's got the two side pockets, the zippered pocket, classic MCM. And the sides of the bag do come all the way down if you were to choose to do that for whatever reason so that the bag expands all the way quite widely so you can get a really good interior view there when i first got the bag i thought that i was needing a purse organizer for it i ended up getting a purse organizer for it from amazon but the dimensions for the purse organizer were not perfect to the dimensions measurements of the bag so it was a little off and after carrying it with the organizer for a few weeks if you notice these dents poking out here that's from the organizer not being a perfect fit so please if you are going to get one of those felt organizers for your bag it is really important that you have it fit your bag perfectly because it could cause these somewhat unsightly stress marks to your bag. They're not so horrible, I can live with them. It's definitely a lesson learned on my behalf though. But the bag, it has enough side pocket, two side pocket, zipper pocket and two side pockets here that uh, it organizes my stuff just fine. So it's perfectly good without the organizer. I'll go ahead and give you the bag measurements. Across the bottom, it is just barely over 12 inches. So it'll probably be 13 inches. From top to bottom. Just about 10 inches from top to bottom. The width of this bag let me get this right for you guys is at five and a half inches and then the handle drop six and a half inches for the handle drop so pretty ample you're definitely not going to have any problem carrying it. This is how I generally carry it in the crook of my elbow or with my hand. This bag does not come with a shoulder strap. It's not designed to be a shoulder carry. We do have the logo stamped on the insides of the handle here. Got the gold toned logo plate and leather zipper pulls. The only thing I really had to clean on this, oh, I'll mention the Heritage Collection leather tag there. Everything in MCM that is part of their Heritage Collection is going to have that leather tag saying so. The only thing I can say that I had to clean about the bag when it came that wasn't visible in the pictures is the zipper. I think this had been sitting in storage for quite some time, um, or maybe it just wasn't used for a really, really long time, but the zipper was quite dirty, like visibly, like with visible dust and stuff in there. So maybe whoever had it before just didn't store it in the dust bag. It did come with the dust bag, by the way, but I don't know, just because you have the dust bag doesn't mean that people are storing it in there when their bag's not in use. So I actually cleaned the zipper with a microfiber cloth and I used a little bit of WD-40 
in a little bit of Dawn and just made a little bit of a lather and just was able to clean the zipper, which made a huge difference. Brought the back of the shine and also the zippability of it. It brought all that back so that it zips smoothly and everything. So the MCM Cognac Visatos Dome Satchel is the name of this bag. I love it. I'll probably have it for always because it is the classic design. As far as ordering pre-owned from Tradesy, I have absolutely no qualms about it. The transaction went very smoothly. Tradesy does guarantee that all of the items being sold on their site are authentic. And I guess if there is ever a question um, of something being inauthentic, you can contact them and they can have someone look at it for you just to ease your mind, which is nice. I think the only thing I might say about Tradesy that did make me make sure I thought through my purchase really well is if for some reason you are dissatisfied with your purchase, you do not get a money back refund, you get site credit that you can use on something else. So that might affect some people's decision and other people might be totally fine with that. For me, I prefer money back refunds because I want my money back if I wasn't satisfied with it. So that's just me though. So that's my pre-owned uh, handbag purchase experience. I hope that it was helpful for someone and maybe you guys took away something from it that you didn't know before. If any of you guys have bought pre-owned MCM, I'd love to hear your experiences or what bags that you guys got and leave me those uh, comments in the comments. Yeah, you know what I mean. And if you're new here, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, till next week, stay stunning.